Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today I have something rather exciting to show you, and this is Zelda Second Wind. It looks like the normal Zelda, but I am playing at the moment on the Steam Deck, and when you look here, then you will see completely new quest lines from the main quests. So this is a DLC-sized um, mod, basically, that you can run on Switch and on Simu. Uh, so this is basically using emulation, but it's a way enhanced version, not only from this mod, but also graphically, I enhanced the game a lot. So you have a lot of extra stuff here, extra mounts, extra gear, extra missions, like actually a whole new quest line. And this is, um, yeah, a rather hard quest line. For the beginning, I started the game new, and yeah, it's 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 rather for characters that are no way that are maybe a little bit higher level than I am. There are no re levels in Zelda, fair enough, but you know what I mean. The 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 gear basically makes the weapons. Okay, let's go here. Let's see how far we get this. We have to bring the flame away again. Let's look in the adventure log. Blue flame from the ancient first and animated the exchange runes to the attack lab runes. Uh, let's see. Okay, the tech like lab ruins are here. Maybe put a stamp there. Can I? No, I can't. So, yeah, well, basically, straight up into this direction. So Oh no, my horse, <laughs> gun solo, um, okay. So this is super exciting. The graphics are so much better, so what actually is improved? First of all, resolution is improved, of course. And then also many other things are improved. Uh, for example, the drawing distance for NPCs, for trees, for grass. There is a lot of stuff modded, actually, in the game. Through emulation improvements, basically. Like stuff that you can do with emulation. No! What happened? Okay, fortunately. Let's quickly see if we can get yep. some more branches. Because they do not come so often, actually. The branches, they don't spawn yep. so often. Nothing. Uh, Korok leaf. Since you have to to bring the blue flame, uh, what I'm doing now makes sense. And probably you can see it already. Uh, yes, tree branch. Perfect. I, the graphics are just vastly improved over the vanilla Switch version. But much more exciting to me is actually the fact that it's there's a whole new storyline to explore new enemies, new beasts, new wildlife, you know, all that good stuff. So where do we have to go from here? Slightly to the right actually, yeah, but are there furnaces? No way.
Will it have deactivated my flame again? Yes, I guess so. It's well worth experiencing. It is mod is very good. <laughs> no. Why? And why is this flame out? It wasn't out. Hmm. Well, what to do? So this is Ordon, the new village, and it's a really big village. It's really cool. Man, there was... Are you for real? There, there's a torch. Any... Can I drop them? Yeah, of course I can drop them. So what will I drop? Actually, a branch. Way better. This should last a lot longer. So as you can see, this village is so lovely. There's, you know, new shops. There's an inn. There's the inn. It's so beautiful. There are many, many NPCs that you can talk to and that will give you missions. There's crafting now in the game. Which is also cool. I think we have to go here. Yeah. Yeah. So, for example, this is an NPC that has a, a mission. I just ex already accepted it. And, yeah, draw distances of shadows, of everything. Everything just looks so much more nice. It looks like Zelda Remastered, actually. It is sort of Zelda Remastered and an additional, um, what to say, DLC-sized mod. It's actually like a DLC. It has a story that is embedded into the universe. Oh, we are already here. Nice. Perfect, so we did the torch run to Ordon Village. Yes! Awesome. So, now you can actually see a little bit. Exactly, the blacksmith, I have already met him. <whistles> the problem is my horse it can't hear me. Gun solo. My poor gun solo. I, I wanted to call him Ganon's Wrath, but that was not possible, it was too long. So I ended up calling him Gun Solo. As you also can see, the game is running flawlessly here, like absolutely flawless. If we go here, you can see how nice the frame pacing is as well. I mean, look at this. This is like rock solid. Rock solid 33.3. .3. Pretty much all the way. Like this, the tiniest, you know, couldn't really call it drops. This is so much better than the original Switch version because I own a Switch and I own the game. Uh, so I know. This is the crafting system, you see, 
flint, feather, wood. And then you can craft. Yes, he wanted to make me... Uh, make... him... hot chocolate. And I did. So, this is a game absolutely well worth experiencing, guys. Again, a blood moon? The blood moon rises once again. All right, all right. I don't need to see that all the time. In the house, here's something in the house for me, he said. <laughs> to see better or something, he said. the search going still searching wait 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 okay a high tail lizard yeah so it's the next mission apparently tiny terrors ah knight of order Yeah, so then I still have to find a high tail lizard. Maybe I will do a video explaining how to install it because there is one video from Cryobite. But his tutorial was not working for me. You had to do completely different steps to get it running. Actually export the mods with BCML and import them into your folder manually and then activate it in the graphic packs. So let me know if you want a tutorial like that. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I see you guys hopefully in the next one. Press like if you liked this video and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below what other games I should try on Emu Deck or on Steam Deck and show you guys. Peace out and I see you guys in the next one. Cheers.